So often people want to say, why are you talking about the border crisis? Or why aren't you talking about it in this way? Well, we're talking about it. They just don't like how we're talking about it because it's not a border crisis. It's an imperialism crisis. It's a climate crisis. It's a trade crisis. This is not a surge. These are children and they are not insurgents and we are not being invaded, which by the way, is a white supremacist idea. Philosophy. I'm sorry, did you just try to claim that you and your Democratic constituents are talking about the border crisis? Now, credit where it's due. I have heard John Fetterman talk about the crisis at the border a handful of times. Here's a quick clip. If you look at the, the numbers, it's almost 270,000 encounters, and that's, uh, that's a lot. It's not uh, xenophobic to have a conversation about border security. But he seems to be the only one, and... I don't know about you guys, but have you noticed John Fetterman has been weirdly more Republican since his stroke? Okay, so AOC is a cheerleader for the far left, and a lot of what she says is legitimate propaganda. No sugarcoating it. It's legitimate propaganda. To my initial point, this is the first time AOC has ever even acknowledged the fact that there is an issue at the border, and she even dances around that concept in this video by saying, oh, only white supremacists think that it's an invasion. It's really a climate crisis issue. Really? Not having a border policy is a climate crisis issue? How stupid are you? Do you think these people are coming here because of global warming? Wh what kind of logic are you trying to use right now? You're a congresswoman, for God's sake. She also mentioned that it's not a surge. There have been 2.5 million encounters of illegal immigrants at our border in the last year. That is the most encounters ever recorded at the border of all time. And it's not even close. Of those 2.5 million encounters, 1.8 million of them got away. Completely unaccounted for. 100% illegally entered the country. The Biden administration has single-handedly crafted one of the biggest national security threats of all time. This is legal human trafficking. And mind you, all of the resources that these immigrants are getting are coming from taxpayer dollars, your dollars and my dollars. These people get free housing, free checks from the government, free food, free internet, free phones. This is almost comical. If you don't believe me, feel free to do a little bit of research. The free phone and free internet is actually a brand new concept. It's called the Affordable Connectivity Plan that Biden rolled out in 2020. And he talked about getting infrastructure everywhere. But part of this infrastructure is actually giving low-income people in the United States free phones and free in-home internet. Yeah, that's right. You can look into it. It is 100% free and you don't need to be a citizen. You don't need to be a United States citizen to get free phones and free internet from the United States government. What kind of backwards ass logic is that? These people come here with absolutely nothing. They enter illegally because we don't have a streamlined process. We have no accountability at the border and we give them free handouts from the taxpayer dollars. And the taxpayers, are you... Are you seeing any of this come back to you? Is this really helping our society? And look, I am pro-legal immigration to an extent, but where we are right now, we've gone too far. We need to shut down the border. We need to streamline effective legal immigration, okay? It's not that hard. We just need to get more resources. And you know what? The left loves to give people more government jobs. I'm sure people would be more happy with them having more federal agents at the border to support this process. And honestly, at this point, I support getting more federal agents down there because this is a federal national security issue. We need to slow down the problem at the border and we need to stop giving out so many handouts to all these illegal citizens illegal. We also need a lot of reform and to cut back on a lot of social welfare programs, but that's a different conversation for a different video, and I'm going to leave that there. But no, I think we need to change that and cut back on that too, because America is becoming a socialist country where we're just giving people handouts for doing nothing, and these people are becoming dependent on them. There is no work ethic in a lot of the lower class people. Yeah, I said it. Go ahead. Get angry in the comments. But when you make a government system that makes people dependent on government cheddar, they never end up getting the work ethic themselves. When you could get free food, free housing, free internet, free phones, you also get a free stipend every month. Why would you work? To say that this isn't an invasion 
is simply incorrect. And if you think I'm a white supremacist for saying that, your brain has quite literally fallen out of your head. Here's a recent clip of the crisis at the border. <laughs> I don't ever see very many children in these clips. I'm not saying that there's never children in these clips, okay? They were clearly, actually maybe not even clearly, I don't see any children in this clip, actually. There are rarely children in these clips, is my final answer. It is mostly middle-aged men. Sorry, let me, let me rephrase it. Not middle-aged, military-aged men. And by that I mean probably 16, 17 to about 30 years old. Look at this. I mean, they... I've seen clips, other clips, where these people are explaining, oh, we're really happy to be here. Thank you, Joe Biden. We were told to come here. Everyone says it's a like good time to come here to America now because they're letting us in. Look, they're even navigating them. They're telling them where to go. No running. Walk. It's like, we're not going to try to stop you, but... We need to do it calmly. It's like getting on a ride for a roller coaster. And I tell you what, America's on one hell of a ride right now. <laughs> National security used to be something both the left and right would come to an agreement on. We want our people our people, American citizens, to be a top priority and their safety a top priority. But the left is using this as a political agenda and as a pretty poor wedge considering that most people in America, most people think that the Biden administration is doing an awful job at the border. However, they know that these illegal immigrants will most likely vote blue. So if they could just get more voters, they have a better chance of winning the 2024 election. To make a long story short, AOC, stop peddling your border propaganda. We know you don't actually care about the people at the border. You're just saying what you need to say to get a paycheck. What are your thoughts on AOC and the crisis at the border? Let me know in the comments. My name is Beans. Thank you for watching The Daily Beans. Have a blessed day.